every student and researcher is asking the same thing. Which AI tool is actually best for academic work? So I went all in and paid for the pro versions of ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, and Perplexity, and I just didn't dabble around the edges. I stress tested them on PDFs, references, and tough research prompts to see who really delivers, and these are my results. I've done a little cheeky presentation for you. So here we have the best paid large language models for research, and I'm going to click ahead, and I tested these. Now, importantly, I paid for the pro versions of each, and ChatGPT meant that I got access to all of their new GPT-5 models, but I chose the best one for each sort of task, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So here we go, what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to achieve this. First of all, I uploaded some PDFs, and I wanted to know if I could extract the information from those PDFs with a simple prompt. I was looking for correct responses, not hallucinations. And also, I was after this, literature review. I wanted to know if the large language model that I paid for could go out into the world and get me accurate results and accurate references that didn't just sort of like not exist. <laughs> That's the main thing. And so here, this is what I was looking for, accuracy rate, and I was looking for correct responses and erroneous responses. And then here, I wanted them to give me responses supported by the content of the paper. And then here, I wanted references that actually existed. I was looking for correct author, year, links, and cited references that match what they actually said existed in the world. And this is what it looked like. So first of all, interrogating PDFs. I asked a couple of questions. One of them was a little bit sneaky. So simple questions like, is this in the paper? That's what I want to know. And if it could expand on certain things, certain concepts that was in the paper, that's a very common academic task. And then I was also interested in this misleading questions, a purposely wrong question to see if I could convince the AI that this was true even though it was completely fabricated. I made it sound as plausible as possible. So those are the sorts of misleading questions. And I also tested all of these as well. ChatGPT, there you can see, Gemini, Claude, all of these. So those are the sorts of questions I asked. And here were the results. Bosh! Now, here we got accuracy of paid AI tools providing accurate content from PDFs. You can see that Claude was by far the winner. It did not lie. So if you're using these models to interrogate PDFs, Claude would be your best paid option at the moment. But coming in slightly after that is perplexity. And then we've got Gemini and ChatGPT. Interestingly, ChatGPT didn't do very well. It did worse than its free version I tested last time. Go check out that video. It looks like this. Now, if I was going to be using any large language model, if I was in the beginning stage of my research and I wanted to ask some PDFs some questions, I would be using Claude, no doubt, because it just didn't lie to me during my testing. Absolutely love that. Now, what about all the other stuff? So I wanted to know about citations. Could it go out into the literature and get me citations? Now, this isn't the best use case of large language models for academia and research, but it is a good benchmark. You're better off using something like SciSpace, Elicit, Consensus to go find academic sources because they actually use real sort of databases and they don't just go out into the world. Nonetheless, it was a good stress test for this experiment. And so these were the sorts of questions I was asking. I had simple questions like act like a world renowned expert and go out and find some uh, water based organic photovoltaic references and then also misleading questions. Explain to me the Stapleton theory of photovoltaics in three sentences. Hmm, that doesn't actually exist. That was a sneaky little question, wasn't it? Naughty me. So then this is the result. Bosh. Now, ChatGPT was by far the best one at not um, hallucinating. However, this is a very tricky task for um, large language models because they are essentially a prediction model. And they can provide references that sound very, very plausible, but actually don't exist or have wrong information in them. And so ChatGPT was by far the best. You could rely on over 80% of its content, which just goes to show you need to make sure that these references really exist and you better off using the other tools anyway for something like this, but a nice way of sort of benchmarking where these tools are at. Claude was the worst for this, which was kind of interesting because it was the best in interrogating PDFs. And then Gemini and Perplexity were also sort of like behind chat GPT. So this is what we're all after, the take home messages. 
This is the scatter plot. Down the bottom, we've got content accuracy in percentage, and then we've got reference accuracy. So how good it was at getting references and how good it was at extracting stuff from PDFs on the x-axis. And you can see that we haven't got a clear winner depending on the academic task you're doing. And that really is the take home message from this video. There is no clear winner. If you want something to interrogate PDFs, Claude is the only one at the moment that really provides the best responses if you're putting in PDFs. So that's worth the money, isn't it? Not to be lied to, thanks. And then if you want references, if you are doing an early stage explore of a research field, ChatGPT is probably one of your better options because it can go out into the world and it can sort of like provide majority real references that don't uh, have hallucinations. But like I said, there are other tools that do this better. So subscribe to this channel, check out my other videos because that's what I do. I stress test these tools to find out if they lie to you. So what is the best one for you to use at the moment? Depends on what stage you're in, but I would be choosing between Claude and ChatGPT at the moment for my academic tasks. And here we are. Claude Pro, best for accurate interrogation of PDFs, lowest error rate and most reliable interpreting or summarizing documents. Thank you very much. Um, but there are other tools like uh, Notebook LM that do interrogate literature for free. Um, but Claude, if you are going to pay for a large language model, is the best one at the moment. Um, and then ChatGPT Pro, best for accurate uh, references, achieve the highest accurate uh, reference accuracy at 82.35%, outperforming everything else, which Claude is down at 40%. So if you are using Claude to interrogate PDFs, do not use it to go to get references. Don't just think, oh, I can get away with it. It lied more than it gave real results. That's very important for academia, is it not? And then uh, Gemini and Perplexity sit in the middle. They are strong on content, but weaker on references. So it is a little bit of a juggle at the moment of which tools are best for which academic tasks. But nonetheless, these ones do pretty well. Um, you just need to obviously always check the stuff that comes out the other end. And if you like this video, check out this one where I do exactly this, but with free AI tools. So is it any better? Go check out that video and find out for yourself.